Um, so today I am curing some fresh coho roe uh, to use for fishing. Um, you may have seen my uh, video yesterday on catching the pink salmon. And in the background, if you go back and watch it again, you'll see that there was uh, some coho row actually on the bank next to this. And so I was lucky enough that gentleman did not need any more eggs, and so he gave them to me. So now I'm going to cure them to go to fish with. Um, and so one of the things to note is, is that salmon are very, uh, are cannibals, and not because they're hungry, but if they see other eggs, they'll eat them, and because they want only their um, babies to survive and, and no one else's. And so, yep, they love to eat eggs, their own eggs. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, I clean these a little bit, um, and I'm going to separate this out by gently butterflying the skein, just gently separating them out a little bit. A couple of snips here and there. Actually, I should move this one over here. Oops. I'll just put this bad boy over here and. Uh, Separate them out like this a little bit. Pulling them out. This way I can get more of that cure in there. I think that's good. Next thing I'll be doing is taking some of this curing powder that I have. And those watching who are experts in this. I know I goofed. This is an old one. I didn't realize it until today, but some of this curing powder is already clumped. I didn't seal it right. So, oopsie on me. Hopefully it'll still work, but we'll see. All right, what this does is it, uh, this powder It'll make these eggs, it'll cure it and make them stick together, which is what we want. Because if I tried to fish them like this, they would fall right off. It also gives them a nice smell. Uh, I, think, I think the company, Potsky, put some krill powder in this, meaning shrimp. And so the shrimp will, uh, make, will give it a nice smell too. So not only will the salmon see it, but they'll smell it and hopefully I'll catch some more. doing now is just rubbing getting a good mix in here I'll have to do this with these other four And those who watch my fishing videos, you always notice I'm wearing gloves. Um, I wear gloves when I fish, so I don't get the sense, you know, the human scent on my bait or on any of my lures because salmon have really good smell and I hear that that turns them off. So that's why I wear that. Um, plus, I don't want to get the, the smell of the baits and everything on my hands. Um, the other reason, you see I'm wearing gloves right now, and the reason for that is because um, this stuff, oops, a little grass stain, a little piece of grass there. But this stuff, this curing solution, has got stains, makes a big stain. And I don't need to get this on my hands where they look red.
generous amount on both sides. Now the next step is to store them. So I'm going to take these, put them in this bag here, seal up said bag, leaving air in there. And I'm going to start jostling them around, rolling them around. And we'll see if juices come out of there. But you can see that they're already starting to turn red compared to these orange, so I think they're working, which is fantastic. Anyway, these will start juicing up. And I think they already are. You see that juice is coming out there? So, yep. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I've got three other ones to do, and we'll just take it from there. And I'll come back later once these are done and uh, sh show you what these are like. Now I gotta take a towel and shut the camera off. Excuse me. So continuing from uh, yesterday's video, um, let's take a look at the eggs and what they look like now after 24 hours of curing. So you can see they look pretty different. Very, very, very red. Um, and so these are ready to go. You can see them, they're stiff and Yep, they are. Uh, yep, they are cured, fully cured. Can last a long time, and now I can take them and fish with them. I'm going to actually now stick them in the new bags, put them in the refrigerator, and yeah, that's essentially it. We are uh, these eggs are ready, and um, I will try with them tomorrow and see what happens with that. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll have some videos using these eggs and catching stuff. Thank you.